76 trombones led the big parade. I'm Lee Shepps, the senior digital video reporter for InsideEdition.com. It is high school musical season, and I've had my share of being in some high school musicals. I want to show you this clip. Not my best job. That was from Godspell senior year. I had asked them to do Gypsy, but... They didn't do it. So I thought I'd round up a few different productions of high school musicals from around the country and take a look at them with you. The first one is from a school in New Rochelle, New York, and they did a production of You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown. All right, so I'm loving that they're all matching like onesies here. You can tell that they're getting ready for a kick line. Oh boy. Here we go. And there's the kick line. You can never do a show without a kick line. Kick lines, top seller. And a little bit about this production here, Good Man Charlie Brown. If you know the name Kristen Chenoweth, this was the show that made her a standout. This was called her breakout role. She played Sally Brown and she won a Tony Award for her performance. pick this show because this is a show that kids can have fun in and there are different characters and they can relate to them because this is based off of the Peanuts cartoon and who doesn't read the Sunday comic? It looks like they're having so much fun on stage. Look at this guy. Look at that smile on his face. He is having the time of his life. That was a really cute number. Me. Final note. Button. Okay, let's take a look at the next one. This is from a high school in Colorado, and they did a production of Do 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 Rent. Okay, I didn't really sing the tunes correctly. Let's go. Real life. He's nailing that costume right there. Who is that played by Anthony Rapp? I've met Anthony Rapp. I've interviewed him. Rent. I'm very surprised that they, the high school was allowed to do this production because there's a lot of serious discussion in this story. Oh, there we go. I love it. Any high school that uses risers, great accessory for a set design. I bet all these kids were thrilled to be a part of this production, Rent, growing up, watching and listening to the music. I mean, there's the movie. No game the Broadway show. Last year's rent. This year's rent. Rent. I, can, I can't sing anymore, but you know, don't judge. I give a lot of props to these high schoolers for putting on this performance and understanding the topic of what is going on in this show because when I was their age and saw it on Broadway, I had no idea and I needed someone to explain to me every single thing that was going on on stage. Great for them, easy costumes for them. Love the setting here that they have with the risers. That's a great way to make use of a stage. And these kids are just jumping up and down the whole time. So you know they're having a lot of fun putting on this production. I'm excited to share this next school with you. This is in New Jersey. A high school put on a production of She Loves Me. And this was just on Broadway, actually. Let's take a look at the video. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hall. What notes she's singing. Such a soprano. It's a great tribute to Barbara Cook. She's hitting all those notes. Here it is. Laura Benanti actually just starred in this musical a few years ago. And I had the pleasure of interviewing her twice. She is so nice. We text sometimes. I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna lie about that. But great tribute to Barbara Cook, who passed away not too long ago. Such a tough show because you have to have a wonderful soprano voice. And that girl, she nailed it. 
The musical She Loves Me is actually based off of the same story that Nora Ephron wrote for You've Got Mail, starring Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. Don't cry, shop girl. Don't cry. And the dreams <laughs> that you I wanted it to be you. It's the same type of similar story where they don't know that they're corresponding with each other and then they realize, oh, that they're, they're corresponding with each other. So. Uh, if you're familiar with You've Got Mail, which I'm sure most of you are, that's the same premise for this story. These costumes, I love anything with a period piece because you get to wear the hat, the gloves, the bag, the dress. Honestly, I think all of these outfits you could probably still wear right now out and everyone would love them. I couldn't wait another day. This is a musical comedy. Looks like it's a musical comedy and the sets and the costumes, this was a high budget show. The next show we're gonna look at is The Music Man and this was done by a school in New Jersey. Let's take a look. Another period piece, this takes place in the early 1900s, River City, Iowa. This is a tough part to play because there is ton of dialogue and look how fast this guy's singing. Frederick. Right around the way there, noontime, supper time, Georgetown, shoot. The beast they pounded. Never mind, puppet and watch. I love how they incorporated kids into this musical. You could see a whole bunch of them here. This is a pretty big cast on stage. You have kids that they brought in from the elementary school. You've got teens playing moms, teens playing dads, teens playing little boys in knickerbockers. This is a really hard show to do because there are so many characters, but yet it is so much fun. The lead, Harold Hill, has so much dialogue to memorize. The lyrics are just so fast. The person who originated this role Robert Preston, he was a legendary Broadway actor. So to for this high school student to play that character of Harold Hill, a legendary Broadway star, is a truly an accomplishment. This musical by Meredith Wilson was also a movie starring Shirley Jones and Robert Preston. <laughs> And then, actually was then made into a TV movie starring, once again, Kristen Chenoweth and Matthew Broderick. And Victor Garber was also in that, but I think he played the mayor. Those were when, when, when TV musicals were on television, but they weren't live, they were just taped. And that is a production to look at. That was quite a few years ago. And I wanna say that there is baton twirling in The Music Man. <laughs> I've had my share of baton twirling. Take a look. I could never do a baton twirling performance without dropping the baton. My parents would always joke that it was not a performance unless I did that, and it didn't count. I dropped it every time. It's pretty tough. Anyway, uh, these shows that we just looked at from all these other high schools, I have to say I'm jealous of all these productions because one, I never really got the lead in any of my musicals, and two, if you heard my voice, I should have had the lead, uh, but I didn't. But anyway, here I am at Inside Edition sharing other high school musical productions with you. See you next time. <laughs>